2018 Honda Accord Sport Improved 2.0T Manual. Here we are, 17 years after the millennium, creeping toward a driverless future discussed elsewhere in this issue. Rebookers will ask very little of us, only that we sit there and wait. After a few years of this, our driving skills are likely to atrophy like leg muscles in a cast. We'll all become as helpless as Miss Daisy, reliant on a robotic hope to drive us around. Highs A manual accord with power, practicality, and handling. Never feels as if it's giving up. Lowe's Civic levels have road noise, it'd be nice to hear a bit more from the steering. Verdict A subtle nod that says Honda stands with us for at least a few more years. Except maybe that's not what's going to happen, because we just hopped into the cabin of a redesigned 2018 Accord, and there's a manual gearbox with a leather wrapped knob between the seats. Path shifter shouldn't be there, not this far into the driverless century. It's almost like finding out that Cadillac offered a hand cranked starter in 1959. Of course that didn't happen, but if the robots win and the computer-driven car dominates mobility, this family sedan with a manual will certainly confuse the fossil record. Naturally, we love it. Partially because of manual family sedan gives us hope that our enthusiasm might have a place in the future. but also because we've loved slamming Hondas into gear since the 1980s, and we'd like to continue doing so for at least a few more decades. Slick and precise, this six-speed, available only on sport trims, provides a mechanical conduit between the car, the driver, and the 252-horsepower turbocharged 2.0-liter four-cylinder. We recently tested a 2.0T Touring with the 10-speed automatic, which is a no-cost option on the sport trim. The 2.0-liter is new and closely related to the 306-horsepower 2.0-liter in the Civic Type R. It replaces the previous generation's 278-horsepower 3.5-liter V6 as the top-spec engine. Moving up to the 2.0 liter from the base 192 horsepower turbocharged 1.5 liter will require around $2,000 to $4,500 of your hard-earned grickles, depending on trim level. The Civic Type R bloodline is deeply felt in the Accord's new engine. Equipped with Honda's IVTEC variable valve lift, the 2.0-liter delivers a rev happiness and linear thrust missing from the 1.5. It rewards you for running right up to the 6800 RPM redline. A hint of turbo lag is unmistakable, but it's a mere split second before the rush hits. In the Type R, the engine makes no attempt to fit in with polite society. Honda has wisely buried the engine's more prurient tendencies for family sedan use. At full throttle, the engine emits only 78 decibels, compared with the Type R's 91 decibels of Vin Diesel-inspired dialogue. Pull through the first two gears, and the Accord hits 60 miles per hour in 6.1 seconds. The quarter mile rolls by in 14.7 seconds at 98 miles per hour in fourth gear. 
The last V6 Accord sedan, which came only with a six-speed automatic and weighed 310 pounds more than this wiry 3283-pound Accord. Made it to 60 miles per hour in 5.8 seconds and to the quarter mile mark in 14.4 seconds at 99 miles per hour. The turbo engine's rush of torque between 1500 and 4000 rpm gives the driver the impression that the new car is quicker than its measurements, but all the output will light up the front tires in first gear. Even with the front end hunting for traction, the steering doesn't tug and the nose doesn't spastically vector you into ditches or oncoming traffic. You merely feel as if you're accelerating on a damp road before traction controlled steps in. Cornering grip, at 0.87 grams, is strong for a family sedan and is achieved on the Sport Model's 235-40R19 Goodyear Eagle Touring All-Season Tires. The Accord is easy to manage near the limit and remains compassed, even if the steering efforts through the leather-wrapped rim are a bit light, and the electrically-assisted gag ensures that its voice is largely muted. Like its predecessor, this Accord is light on its feet and stays flat in corners, and the competence goads you to go ever faster. Drive it as if you just signed up to be an Uber driver, and you'll find the ride to be firm enough to be interesting between fares, but supple enough to earn you 5 stars from passengers. The structure is solid. But this latest generation does not seem to have turned down the volume on road and tire noise. The Accord 70 decibels at 70 miles per hour is only a single decibel up on the old V6 model, but it's enough to keep this sedan from being confused with a luxury car. Rear seat space is luxury car massive, however. Legroom and shoulder room are abundant, even for six-foot-tall adults. The driver's seat padding is hard, but it starts to feel supportive after a couple of days. And in typical Honda fashion, there's space for all the accessories of 21st century life. Deep cubby holes in the center console, under the armrest, and in the doors easily swallow all your phones, charging equipment, iPads, Kindle readers, and Oprah Cinnamon Kai Creme Frappuccinos.